The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. Welcome to Animated Life with the Made in New York Animation Project. In this series, we spotlight short films created by young people from the Bronx who have come together to share their experiences and creativity with the world through storytelling and animation. Stay tuned at the end of the episode for more about TAP and how to get involved. Animated Life with TAP is rated PG. The stories you are about to see are made by real people inspired by real life experiences. We would like to acknowledge that violence is sometimes a part of people's lived experiences. Some of the animations featured may explore complex topics and themes. Without further ado, let's get into today's show. Good morning, lovely people and every other worldly being. My name is Sanjona Arzan, and I am a production assistant intern at the Animation Project. Prior to this internship, I completed a virtual intensive program at TAP that taught me a lot about animation. I cannot wait to share my insight on the spectacular animations made by the talented artists from the Bronx. Before we watch the animations, we're going to perform a ritual. At TAP, we call this the opening ritual. It is short and sweet. At the same time, it is going to connect all of us together as if we are sharing a safe space. Now, I want you to think about one thing that you have been craving a lot recently. In fact, you might have that craving passing through your mind right now. I want you to grab that feeling and hold on to it. Did you get a hold of it? Okay, now don't let it go. What we're gonna do is that instead of keeping it locked inside of us, we're gonna say it aloud. I have a craving and that is, I wanna go to the beach and I wanna see the ocean. I want to be able to dive into the sea and explore the ocean life. Okay, now that we have verbalized our craving, we're going to turn it into our goal to make it possible. Well, how can we do that, you ask? It's simple. We're going to change a few words. I am going to the beach and I am going to see the ocean. I will dive into the sea and explore the ocean life. All right. Now that I have confidently communicated my goal, I feel exploring the beach is not one of my wish or craving that I have set aside for a while but one of my adventures that I will definitely going to experience. I hope you have also found your next adventure. Today, we're going to focus on how colors portray the character's emotions in animation. When we're watching the animations, I'd like you to concentrate on colors that catch your attention and try to identify the emotions that the characters are experiencing at that moment. Buckle up, because we're going to see love, anger, fear, sadness, happiness, and tons of other emotions in today's episode. We present to you the first animation, Pickle and Slice, made by TAP Youth Creatives from Mod Heaven High School in 2018. Let the curtains fall! <laughs> Tyreke, Hayden Arrow, Jonathan. This <laughs> <laughs> was bonded. Slice had the lead. We went to the bar or the smoothie had seeds. Black Beverly was the bartender. He was clever. He took off his mustache, then pulled down the lever. Pick with Slice. They was like a crew. Got stuck in the dungeon. They ain't know what to do. No neck came through with the big old crew. Black Beverly turned around. He ain't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, 
Back in my day, but it has to be a I'm 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 like a full bottom me. Hey, Pop, look at two Mr. Smokes. <laughs> well, two Mr. Smokes, right? Two Mr. Smokes, come with high top, guys. Oh, that she just a brother that she got, you know. <laughs> oh, he's killing me, oh god. Alright, so Mr. the Schmoolies on the house. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Mexican, sir. I'm the office of thing. Oh, no, what's the talk about? Oh, don't stop on the bottles! Alright, can I say that pretty soon, my dear? Ha! You fools! You fought for my blood! No. What's happening? Oh, man. I wish I could take it to the elevator. Anyways, you fools, you fell for my trap. Now I can use your genetic material to rule your world with my master. I will also sell your genetic material for a trillion dollars. Man, I'm telling you, that line at Walmart ain't no joke. Actually, where did you come from? <laughs> Do we build this stuff in Baratour and we cost and wield them? Ah, oh, good. Another one. Um, uh, um, where did these subtitles come from? What? What are you talking about? No, nothing, nothing. Anyway, back to the scene. Are you the police? Ah, more like the new enforcement. Ah, crap. Let's get it! I'll save you. Christ, no matter what. We'll still be t together. No, Nick. No. Damn! We can't hold them off. We need a miracle. <laughs> That is unbelievable! You fools! I'm taking you with me! Ah, these people fresh out of the box! Heavenly man! Okay, so let's begin discussing the colors that stood out to us first. What color caught your attention? And what were you feeling at that moment? The color that caught my attention was red. When Nonex sacrificed his life for his friends, people and slice, bright red light emerged in the background and illuminated the whole scene. Similarly, we can see that the enemy's ray gun was also red. Why do you think the creators of the animation chose the color red for this scene? I think it is because the color red is associated with the emotion of anger. 
What other emotions can the color red represent? Animators have to analyze the whole color wheel to light an animated scene so that we can relate to the emotions of the characters, which in this case is pickle and slide. Our next animation is Uprooted, made by Tap Youth Creatives from the program Neon South Bronx in 2018. Remember to look at the color. Why do you think they're here? Honestly, the better question is, why are they turning everyone into trees? Hmm, maybe they're vegans. No, seriously, you think this is a joke? Nah, but you know if they get me, I want to be a maple tree, because I like pancakes. You won't be eating pancakes if you are a tree. They'll be eating you. But no, really, why are they here? Well, hopefully, once we're finished building and we go and we get to space, we can ask them ourselves and find out. Where do you think they come from? I don't know, but look, they keep coming. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't shoot, don't shoot. shoot. We're not here to harm. What, what are you here for? We have come to find, to find out why this is happening to our people on Earth. Come, come with, with us. us. There's more people who do harm than do good. This is the only way by force. What do you mean, we're destroying Earth? Yeah, we, we care. I recycle. Wait, let's talk, talk about, about it. this. Let's come up with a plan. Yeah, find a different way. Sorry, I can't, I can't believe we were doing this. I did not know how badly we were treating Earth. What, what can, can you, you do? do? Now, that was a very heartfelt animation because it showed aliens who are not part of our Earth want to save it. We are living on this planet, yet we are destroying it. I think it was a bit intense and dramatic. The moment I felt the intensity was when the protagonist visited the alien outer space. That particular scene was lit with green and violet colors. Now, these are two complementary colors, which are used frequently by artists to make the atmosphere dramatic. Do you know what complementary colors are? On the color wheel, complementary colors are placed directly across from each other. Their opposite position, the spectrum of color makes them clash with each other and thus gives the dramatic effect. 
I was feeling anticipation when the characters met the aliens because I didn't know what the aliens were like. What did you feel? Did you notice any other complementary color pair in this animation? If you did, look it up. It is fun to experiment with the rainbow wheel of colors. We have a surprise for you. We have an amazing guest who actually worked on this animation. Let's hear their experience. Hi, I'm AB. I'm a freelance 3D artist and I'm currently a part of the mentorship program at Jigsaw Productions. So my 3D journey started with TAP. I started at a neon group in the South Bronx and my first film that I made with TAP is known as Uprooted. Like the other neon groups, we started off with a theme. We chose an environment theme to be a little more original. And we asked ourselves, what if aliens came to the planet, not to destroy it, but to try to help it. But in order to help it, they felt like they had to destroy humans. In this case, they were turning humans into trees since the planet does need trees. While making this film, I learned more about story development and I also got to voice act, which was very, very cool. After making the film, I became an internet tap worked on other freelance projects, and I also had the opportunity to work at other studios and even worked on the film that premiered on TV. While developing as a 3D artist, one thing I learned is that there's nothing wrong with comparing yourself to other 3D artists, but you also have to remember that you're still on your journey. If a 3D artist is doing better than you, it's not because they're naturally better, it just means they've been doing it longer. When you start off, you have to remember that you're not bad, you're just a beginner. So keep developing and keep animating. Thank you so much for sharing your experience with us. It was a pleasure to have you today. All right, the animation we will be watching today is called A Hunting in Lafayette. It's created by artists from the Bronx after school program at the John B. Lindsay Wildcat Academy in 2018. Let's begin. On Halloween night, Cammy died inside of school at 10 p.m. Tim and his friends wanted to make a video to prove the ghost is real. I don't think we should go in there, bro. I feel scared. Hey, yo, don't be scared. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Where you at? Where in tarnation did he go? Where you at? That was a spooky animation. I loved how they designed the city and the interior of the house. It played a great role in creating a scary atmosphere. Did you notice how there's an abundance of dimly lit cool toned color? From the cityscape in the background to the lamp lights that illuminated the street has a cool color to it, especially blue. Although blue is often associated with the feeling of peace and calmness, it can also portray isolation. Since it is a horror animation, the artist may have intentionally chosen the color blue to show the vulnerability of the characters, which in this case is their helplessness from isolation. The color blue can also be associated with nighttime, and I cannot imagine a hunting without the icy blue tint after the warm light from the sun disappears. The animators couldn't have done a better job with the color selection of this animation because they succeeded in scaring me. 
Our last animation is called Your Mama, created by Tapio Creators from the Bronx after school program at the John B. Lindsay Wildcat Academy in 2019. Here we go. Are you okay? I'm fine. Where do you live? This way. How did you know I was in danger? I've been watching you, my whole life. What do you mean? I'm your mother. this story and I hope you did too. Let's start with discussing the colors we saw first. I mostly saw primary colors. Do you know what primary colors are? There are three primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. I also saw secondary colors like green and purple. And these colors are spread randomly at across the scene, which makes it harder to grasp any certain emotion. Perhaps the animators took this approach for experimental reasons. Sometimes artists like to play around with the color wheel just so they can come up with new styles. Sometimes the experimental ideas become ideals for decades. That's why we should always welcome all types of ideas and create a safe space to share them. What emotion did you feel after seeing this animation? Were you left with more questions? If you could add or take out colors from this animation, what colors would you add or remove? Altogether, hats off to the animators for this beautiful animation, character design and story. And we have arrived at the finishing line. The animations were so informative and I cannot wait to recap what we learned about colors today. So here we go. We cannot imagine our lives without colors, like red that could be rage or romantic lovers, blue that is soft and calm yet cold and still like midnight glum, green and violet paired together at times, brings mystery, anticipation, and fantasy of all kinds. Colors will shift your mood, make you cry or your heart full. Spin the color wheel, pick whatever you want. Next time you open your eyes, be on a color hunt. Before we end our episode, we're going to have a closing ritual. Since we learned so much in this episode, I want us to cool down our minds. So what we're gonna do is close our eyes, take a deep breath and count to four. Let the air out and count to four while we're doing it. Let's do this three times and get back. I feel so relaxed right now. This is a reminder to you that when we feel at peace, we can have more focus on our surroundings and thus be able to pick up on the details that we live out in a rush. For example, colors. 
Thank you so much for joining me today in this episode. As a former Bronx resident, I felt so proud to see the animations made by the Bronx creatives. Sending love from the TAP team, and we hope to see you again in our next episode. Till then, goodbye, lovely people, and every other worldly being. Many thanks to today's host and to the young creatives who made the short films we saw today. This might be your first time hearing about the Made in New York animation project, so we'd like to share more about who we are with you. The Made in New York Animation Project, or TAP, is a nonprofit therapeutic workforce development program. We are a one-stop shop for storytelling, industry and professional training, and personal transformation. TAP develops New York City youth for the local animation industry through software training and personal and professional development. At TAP, we combine creative arts therapy with the animation pipeline. We offer a variety of programs for participants ages 12 through 24. For more information about our programming, check out our website, www.theanimationproject.org and follow our social media accounts displayed on the screen. We invite you to watch one more video that showcases who we are and what we do at the Made in New York Animation Project. TAP has been a, a guiding light for me when things were getting difficult, not only during the COVID epidemic, but long before. As animators and visual storytellers, we're able to create something that brightens someone's day or make something that's really productive and, you know, do something that really shows our talent and our growth. darkest times that creativity and passion can pretty much shine through. I attend tap virtual groups because not only do I get to learn about like animation, but I also get to like have a community. Such an overwhelming sense of support and sense of community. I attend virtual tap groups to be able to express my creativity. That's what I do as well. Chilla, thanks. I am so grateful for TAP's flexibility, as well as them for providing us tools to excel. So that's why, you know, I come to the virtual group because I find it inspired. Thanks again for joining us for Animated Life with TAP. Please stay connected by visiting our website, www.theanimationproject.org, and following our social media accounts. Until next time, Bronx viewers, stay animated.